Hello everybody, this is Kenneth again. I'm doing a video today on a commonly misinterpreted Bible passage and that is Matthew 18, 20. The passage says, For where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am among them. This is Jesus speaking. And we often misinterpret this passage when we use it when we are gathered to pray. Somehow, we use this passage to invoke the presence of Christ, to, to make us feel that Christ is there when we are praying. We often use it when we are gathered for a prayer meeting, but not many people show, us, show up. And so we use it to console ourselves that in spite of the fact that only a few of us have shown up, Christ, who said this, is there with us. But is that what this passage was intended to do? Let's take a look at the passage in context. Matthew 18, 15 to 20 provides the entire context. And this is Jesus speaking and giving instructions for how the church should handle conflict. If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault. It says the first thing is to do it between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother. If he does not listen, take two or two others along with you, that every church may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen to the church, let him be to you as a gentile and a tax collector. Jesus gives steps for handling conflict. It starts with the condition if your brother sins against you, everything else that follows addresses that condition. If your brother sins against you, Jesus gives you steps to follow. Step one, talk with between you and him alone. Step two, take one or two others along so they can help mediate the situation. And then he goes, then next, if that doesn't work, go to the church. And to ground all of that, Jesus say, then says, from verse 18, truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done by done for them by my Father in heaven. For this is a way the passage is quoted. For for where two or three are gathered in my name. There I am among them. So if you read the context clearly, you will see that this passage, Jesus is talking about handling conflict. And he's saying that when people gather together to handle conflict between Christians, Jesus is there. He's there and decisions that are taken are established in heaven. What they ask correctly, what they ask is done in heaven because Jesus himself is there. Okay. And so we should not use this passage when we are talking about prayer because when we do that, we're taking the passage out of context. Now, the thing about this passage is that when we use it out of context, we often do not affect our theology. Indeed, God is present. There are many other passages of Scripture that teach us that God is present. He's omnipresent. We know that. We cannot hide from Him. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Christ lives in us. So, so everywhere we go, we have God. He's always present. So we can reassure ourselves that God is present. But to quote this scripture out of context opens the door for us to start quoting other scriptures out of context. So we should try to use scripture for what the scripture is intended so that we don't fall into the trap of misquoting and misinterpreting scripture. So always read a passage in context, always read, read in context. Context determines meaning. And as I say in Bible interpretation, context is king. Well, I hope this video helped you. If you know somebody who might benefit from it, please share the video. If you have a comment, something you want to add on to this, please put it in the comments below. And uh, if you've not liked or subscribed to the channel, please do so. I'll see you in the next video.